What is going on guys, we're back with another video today, and we are doing a little bit of a special rebuild, probably should have done a little bit more of these this year, however the last one I did, I don't remember how long ago it was, didn't really get re received too well, so that's why I kind of strayed away, but Josh Winkle, and I'm sure a lot of you guys uh, have suggested as well, said when is the next draft only rebuild, here it is, I chose my favorite team, the Packers, I'm not saying they have the best situation going into the draft, but we do have two first round picks, this is the team that obviously loves to, you know, build up through the draft. Uh, and I think it's a very fitting one because we don't have a whole lot of cap space for free agents. I know we're kind of primed to get like Landon Collins, a couple of guys that would cost us a little bit of money. But overall, we definitely are a draft team, a draft first team. So that's where we're going to go here. I love how Rodgers is a 91 overall on the game. Yet Tom Brady, what overall is he? 97, you know. He, he only had just about the same exact season, but he threw more picks. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. You know, you know, you know individually, Rodgers was better, but uh, I don't know. I guess a team Super Bowl win is, is valued higher. I'm sorry. So I'm going to interpret this thing the way I want to. And the way I view a draft-only rebuild is through trades being allowed. Uh, of course, I'm not going to go crazy. I'm not going to make some unrealistic stupid trades however we you know we saw the report Randall Cobb uh, he was actually offered a trade from the Patriots I'm like he was offered a trade but you know what I mean he was you know they, they offered a trade to him uh, that's that's what I'm gonna allow Clay Matthews doesn't really have a whole lot of value probably gonna let him go through free agency but still let him go in free agency uh, I'm just trying to see if there's any other guys that could be tradable I'm not saying this is the most realistic trade in the world. However, I think it's very close. Kevin King, once upon a time, first rounder. Uh, Randall Cobb still has lots of value. And the third round pick for the Panthers' first round pick, which is always projected pretty poorly, uh, honestly. Uh, so now we added an extra first round. I don't think we'll be able to do anything else, though. I think this is that's kind of where we max out. Um, Geronimo Allison was injured in the start of the season. Kind of hoping we do poorly. Obviously, uh, this pick and the Saints pick shouldn't be very good. Uh, the Packers aren't the worst team to start out with, so I'm hoping we can kind of turn that into something. Obviously, we really didn't even need uh, Kevin King. Breland, he's only a few years older. Eddie Jackson, always, always going to be my number two whenever I'm rebuilding the Packers. Uh, Wilkerson, we'll see who we keep uh, around on the team. I think Nick Perry will let play through that contract. Uh, Clay will probably replace right away, and we'll see where else we are at, so it should be a fun one, but it's going to be long. So now I kind of mention it almost every single time when we do a Packers rebuild, but Josh Jackson is real hit or miss. Uh, I guess they never miss. It's dead. 75% of the time you will see him be a beast, but sometimes he just never gets going, so I'm hoping this is the time he could do better. I also didn't really, it kind of was stupid the way it came off of, but what I meant to say about uh, the way I interpreted draft only is you can trade just no player like gaining trades. I think that's I think that's fair in my opinion. I think that's the way it is. So Tony Brown, super fast, super decent. I'm actually going to keep him on the team. Uh, we have lots of money to work with here. Holy crap. This offer is perfect. Uh, who the hell do we want to keep? Muhammad Wilgerson is actually getting quite the expense here i don't really like his ratings clay no uh jake ryan man that's tough i think even though i think he could be very good for us here i think i'm gonna let him sit uh I'm gonna get breland back right now i know he's a little slow on this roster but he's decent enough i mean honestly that's not even that expensive i'll give him a four-year deal he can always play backup uh, geronimo probably gets a deal not gonna guarantee it Jake Ryan, I'm going to wait on. I think I'm going to wait just in case, because if he really sucks and he goes to 27 years of age, I'd rather just draft a guy. Head to the playoffs. Please don't be in. Please don't be in. Please don't be in. Yes. Okay, 9 and 7. That's not really what I was hoping for, but I mean, I guess it will result in a bit better of a pick. I think you kind of have to suck right away. Saints, how were they? Damn, they made the playoffs barely, too. 11 and 5. I mean, 11 and 5 isn't barely, but... Still, 11-5. and five. Uh, Let's take a look at the season stats, I suppose. So, Rodgers, 37 touch, 36 touchdowns, 11 picks. A bunch of quarterbacks on the roster, 4,200 yards. Rushing, Aaron Jones, 1,000 yards, 6 touchdowns. That's actually pretty good for a Packers team. 
Devontae Adams, did he drop in dev? He really did. Like, I get he didn't have the touchdowns, but 1,259 yards is pretty good. Marquez might have actually jumped. Almost 100 catches. Defensively, any crazy names? I probably should have started Fackrell. Sack totals. Mike Daniels and company. Mike Daniels is a beast. What dev is he? Superstar. So he started with Star. That should actually extend his career a bit. Kenny Clark, superstar dev with seven upgrade points. Don't know how the um, Panthers went on their season. Rams, Browns, of course. But the thing is about letting Jake Ryan go, because this is draft only, anyone that we let go, we can't replace through free agency. So we have to make sure we, we, we can let them go. Like, literally, we can afford to do it. Um, like, Jake Ryan, he's an 81 overall. Did he drop dev? He did drop to normal dev, which would lower his value, so maybe we can get him for cheaper. His player model is really ugly, so that alone might be the deciding factor. Tremont Williams has retired, so we're going to need a safety right away. Muhammad Wilkerson, three-year deal, 29 years of age. I think I'm going to let him go. What's his block shed? 80? I think that's just too much money, to be honest. To have to get a new wide receiver this season. I know it's pretty easy to draft, but I'm going to get Allison back. And I think I might let everyone else go, to be honest. Ooh, I don't want to have to draft a new fullback. <laughs> Never mind. I'm, uh, yeah. If there's a, if the AI signs, like, some low names, I'm not going to worry about it. Like, that's, let's be honest, we're not that crazy. What is that nonsense, by the way? <laughs> Gurley led the NFL in jersey sales close with Goff. Goff and Tlaib close behind. Tlaib. All right, so, uh, I mean, that's not bad. Safety, obviously one of the huge needs for the Packers. Early first. If this guy slips, that's going to be our guy. In a tra uh, draft-only rebuild, I don't think we have the ability to trade up. I think we would just be given getting rid of too much stuff to work with. By Bryant McKay might be good, though. This guy looks pretty good. A little slow himself, but... I think we'll go for one of those guys, of course, unless Hurst does slip. Cornerback, I think we're honestly fine. I don't think we need three starting caliber cornerbacks. But once again, maybe if that guy slips, we'll take a look. Uh, Jamal Office, I've had a lot of success with guys that look just like that. Um, so maybe, maybe. Oh, you're a bit slow, buddy. Some dis You know, there's some interesting guys here that... Uh, 505? Some interesting fellas here. Wow, look at the hit power on this guy. As of, as of right now, we're pretty much looking at an all 6'2 and above receiving core, which isn't, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but I think you need one of those guys that not every team, well, I mean, not saying that every team can match up with tall guys, but, you know, you pretty much look at the Packers now, it's like, oh, well, they're all tall. That could be the best combine I've ever seen for a running back, and he might be the best running back I've ever seen. I'm just going to go out on a limb. Jamal Office, like I said, I want him at 19. I don't know if I'm going to get him, and he is kind of my only option. We do need one safety at least. Josh Jones, I think, might be able to hold it down. The thing about Hurst is that's a bit of a steal, man. He could play both positions. I'm taking Hurst. I have to. I have to. Quick dev, 78 overall. We reached uh, a little bit slower than I would have liked, but obviously with the coverage stats, he can play both positions. But we will probably have him at free safety. All right, office, this is your time to shine, buddy. Please be there for me. I know he won't be. He's just not going to be. Damn it. Who is this guy? This guy's pretty good, too. He's similar to office. This guy's a little bit slower. I love the age on him. But I guess Hunley's also good. Hunley? What? Uh, Holloman. I'm just going to go with Cameron Hunley. And yes, my boy. My boy Hunley, I love you. Oh my god, he's so good. Packers haven't had a guy that good with that dev and speed in ages. Number 24, I don't even know what the hell I want here, to be honest. Oh, Myers went right before me. That was, I think that was actually the guy I was thinking about grabbing. Well, we need to replace the, this position right now, so I'm going to take him. Normal dev, but he is a 77 overall. Strength is a little bit better than I thought it was going to be. I think that's a good move. I mean, he's a great player. I might move him to DT. It's going to hurt us, but it's as fair as I'm going to get. <laughs> it's going to be as fair as I'm, I'm treading the line a little bit, all right? I don't think he can really beat this Roy Weary. He's kind of fast. He can easily move. Ooh, he cannot move in a guard because he is big, but he's our guy. 79 overall. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what we like to call a steal. 
Our next pick is in the fourth. Let's make sure we can actually do that. Like I said, I really don't want to trade up anymore. And I don't even think I was supposed to trade up at all. We don't really have any. Well, we do have Equinemius, though, in fairness. I think I'm actually going to go with Tyrone Hull. And that was left field. Like, I had no idea that I wanted to go for this guy at all. I seen his 40 time, which was decent. I didn't really like the other drills, even though his Excel is good. His agility is obviously terrible. What a steal. We are just killing the draft right now. Like, absolute murder at this point. The murder is unfair. Gross. Just, like, sickening, gruesome, violent death of the draft right now. Like, we're just killing it. Defense is still going to be a little rough. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to take a look at who we missed. Uh, and the real main guys would be the running back, the D end, and maybe if I can find that tight end. So, I mean, look at the guys we got. These are... Amazing names. I know we had three first rounds. We had a second round. Wh whatever. Okay. It was still a good draft. Uh, was there any other guys? Like I said, here's Office, by the way. Jamal Office. Ooh, could you imagine we would have paired Office and that other guy? Obviously, we didn't need him, so we nearly needed Blake. We ended up getting the better of the deals because obviously we waited a couple of picks and we ended up getting the safety anyways. So we did a very good job. Here's Myers. Pretty damn fast. Normal dev, which would have been rough to work with, especially at outside linebacker. Uh, we got Carey, of course. Yeah, here's the guy, Weber. This is the guy we were going to go with as well. We chose the better of the two, I'd like to think. And here's Courtney Holloman. Uh, quick dev, which is still really good. Um, he was insane. I mean, what's his strength? 80 strength. I think that's a little low. 29 reps? Doesn't really make any sense. You get guys with like 29 reps and they're like 85 strength. Ah, here he is, Noah Webster. Normal dev. Glad we didn't go with him. He was terrible. So once again, we, uh, we did pretty damn well. We avoided some of the bad players. We grabbed pretty much best available and for the need. I like what we did. I think we did a great job once we moved the linemen into place. We're going to be a great team. So it's a little bit of an interesting one because Clark moves down two, going to left end, but Kerry moves up two. Um, so I don't really know if this is even the right move for us because Kenny Clark, I don't know. Like I feel like left end doesn't get as much done as DT does uh, in a 3-4, so... Oh, I really hope I'm not making the wrong decision. Of course, it doesn't really matter that much because Kenny Clark is already a beast, so it's not like we're going to ruin his uh, you know, talent. So he's ready. Right. Dean Lowry, a sixth this and a fourth next to get the Dolphins' third-round pick, which I think is pretty fair. Dean Lowry's kind of proven himself to be a pretty damn decent player, especially uh, coming off the bench. So good change of pace guy. And honestly, for them, might even be a starter. We could use a tight end. That might be have to, you know, we might have to take a look at that in the draft. Uh, I mean, this team's looking pretty good. I think pass rusher is the biggest need now. And then other than that, I think we're kind of set. So like I said, I might have to, you know, sign some random player that just won't play. But just as a backup for uh, the linebackers. So we'll go for the lowest guy. Oh, Shane Ray would be nice, but not exactly a nobody, is he? So here's the team, 83 overall, coming off of uh, a solid draft. The problem is now we only have our own first-round pick, so this is going to be a bit harder. The question is, can we even do this? I never really thought about it because I always just thought, yeah, I mean, uh, most rebuild challenges are pretty easy. We can do it. But is it actually possible? I mean, in real life, you can kind of get away with it maybe because obviously there could be talent throughout the draft. But in Madden, 90% of the time, you're not going to get one of those great players with good dev near the end. I know, kind of ironic to say because we actually had an amazing draft all the way through. But let's see. I mean, this should be a playoff season, I would say. Of course, midway through the season, we have a couple of guys to get back. Mike Daniel is always that tough one. I think he might have to be a tag. Uh, Blake Martinez, we will re-sign right away because, of course, he had a pretty damn solid season. He's a good player. Quick dev, 85 overall is definitely worth it. The re-signing. I'm actually going to re-sign Corey Lindsley here too. Normally I wouldn't, but like I said, I don't think we're going to have enough money to tag. By the way, did I actually keep the salary cap on? Because we have way more money than I would expect us to. Um, I know we're not playing, you know, other than Rodgers. We're not really paying that many players crazy numbers, but still, it seems a little high. I'm not going to lie, so I'm going to take a look at that in a little bit. Uh, so Mike Daniels, like I said, I think that's going to have to be a tag. There's no other way around it. Can't give a 91 overall, 30-year-old, a five-year deal. I just, I don't see it. I really don't. Bulaga, three-year deal. I think that's fair, but I think we might have to replace him because he regressed hard already after one year. 
I think it's going to happen again. Kyler Fackrell, uh, I think it's going to be hard to replace two pass rushers in a season. So I think with his price being a really, really low, I think we're going to have to. Tony Brown, we'll see at the end of the season. Kind of thinking about it now, I probably could have done a real life, real life draft class for this one, but I don't think it really matters too much. Actually, you guys are probably going to be pissed that I didn't do it. We made the playoffs 9-6-1, uh, more or less because the div uh, the division was kind of bad, though. So let's take a look at our wins uh, regular season. We tied with the Vikings, all right. Lost the last two, which is terrible because we could have been, what, a 9-4-1? 9 4 and one? Nine 11, 4, and 1. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. The Bears, they lost three, and then they came on strong at the end, but it was too late. We had taken their spot by half a game. I don't know if they have a playoff spot. Highly doubt it. Rodgers played a little bit worse than last season, technically. Aaron Jones, 1,100 yards, five touchdowns. What is his dev? Quick dev. I mean, it's fine. I'm, I'm all right with it. Marquez Valdez, scantly with seven upgrades. He's still only quick dev, but... I don't know. I don't understand why he didn't go up in dev. Devontae could be normal here. He goes back to star, so a 1,000 yards doesn't matter. It's all about the touchdowns. Hall, is that a soup in my uh, stool? What? I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. Defensively, what do we got? Please be some numbers for somebody. Hundley was okay. Kenny Clark, yes, it doesn't matter what spot he's at. Uh, interceptions, Jair, that's a soup. That's a soup. No, it's only star, really? I don't know how six picks doesn't get you superstar. Nick Perry, that wasn't bad. I was about to say, that wasn't terrible. Five sacks. I mean, when you're on the Packers, it's not a whole lot of whole lot of arguments here. Who got upgrades? Or not upgrades, but who got players of the week and all that? Oh, Hunley at least, but Hall would have been clutch, man. Need you to do that next time, please. We got best DB, best defensive rookie. Not bad stuff. I mean, I'm happy with it. Got some upgrades. Rogers still a 91 overall. What's his dev? Superstar dev, but only a 91. I don't know where Marquez got all these points from. It was a good season, but he didn't even go up in dev. Usually, if they don't go up in dev, I don't expect very many upgrades. So, Hundley had a decent season. Did he go up to superstar? He did not. Well, we're going to auto-upgrade, and we'll see what we can do. If we can win a Super Bowl right away, I'd be happy. I'd be very happy. The Redskins, they kind of have uh, sim luck on their side. What team... So we're in 87, they're in 82. 87 overall is not bad for minimal trading, minimal cheesing, if any. If we're going to be 100% honest, it might be like one trade. Like the trade up in the second round might have been a rough one. The Panthers, I don't know if they would. I mean, like I said, Kevin King, pick 30. Obviously doesn't have that value of pick 30 anymore, really. But I'd say he still has pick 30 in the second round value. Randall Cobb in a third round for their pick. Which, honestly, the Panthers, they should have a lot to be happy about. I mean, I wouldn't expect them, especially in Madden, to be that bad. So, I mean, it was pick 29 projection at the time. So, I don't know. I think it was fair. I don't really think we cheesed much at all in this one. So, I'm happy with the way we're doing. All things considered, like I said, it does come down to the fact that the division did kind of choke it. But, hey, if we can win this game, I think we prove that we deserve to be here. I know we're at home, so we should have the win. But it's not always how it works. Definitely doesn't <laughs> how it works. They're killing us a little bit here. So to the fourth. We're going to be down by 14. We're driving, though. We are driving. There we go. So down by s eight. That sucks. All right, defense. Packers defense, third and four, actually makes a stop. Second and 10, 11-yard gain. Getting down the field kind of nicely here. Two-point conversion is going to be rough. First and 10, penalty. Gets the touchdown and the two-point. With eight minutes left, it is all tied up. Packers defense coming back to the... F wow. That is really bad. And they are going to score a touchdown. Offense isn't going to be able to get it done because this game is the way it is. If I can't convert this, this is just sad. All right, the youngster Hall gets the first down. Played it really safe there. I know it's like 40 seconds left and whatnot. Damn, Josh Norman is about that life. Inside, perfect throw. Not on a platform. Allison all the way down to the 19-yard line. Proving his value just on this drive right here. Just one play. It was a huge one. Aaron Jones. I don't think I'm going to have him run around because I don't feel comfortable throwing it underneath. Quick throw inside. Marquez. And he fights in for the score. I will let the AI kick the extra point or go for two. Ironically, it was on Clinton Dix. Who apparently, they decided to keep. And we get the extra point. 
Overtime. We got to play defense first, and it works out to our advantage. Huge punt, though. All we have to do is get in the field goal range, and we have ourselves a game. Ooh, this is this is a crazy one. Ooh, they decided to punt it. Interesting. A lot of faith in the defense, and they're smart, too. So here we go again. Third and ten. Maybe not smart, too. The punts. Both punting teams doing very well. And, uh oh this could be the game. They're they're looking good. And on third and fourth, another punt, man. What is this? Third and eight. They get ten. Driving down the field. Looking good. Third and seven conversion. This could be the win. We got in a shootout with the Redskins. It was a hell of a game. 44 to 41. Obviously, wow. 501 yards for Rodgers. Four touchdowns. Zero picks. That would be an all-time. It really would be. It would be an all-time performance in the postseason for any quarterback. 13 catches for Marquez, 11 for Devontae. Safe to say we're a bit of a pass-heavy team, aren't we? Well, I say that, but Aaron Jones had 24 carries, so kind of, I suppose. This isn't looking good. It's their drive still. Third and five, man. Third and five, this team really excels, which is a really tough down. Third and six. Uh, I mean, I believe in the defense, but at the same time, I don't think you win Super Bowls without playing a little risky here and there. Like, can we all agree with that? I think I think to be a Super Bowl champion, you got to be able to make the tough calls, make the tough plays. And sadly, I'm regretting my decisions. No, I'm not. Hall, the youngster, gets the first down. Great blocking. I think the, the new guards have been huge. The Rams' defense has been pretty damn locked down this game against Rodgers. Don't know how good Aaron Jones is doing, but 13 points tells me probably not super well. Third and 10, I'm going to let them go for it. I'm telling you. You don't win Super Bowls without playing risky. And the game's tied. The game agreed with me in that scenario. Intercepted by the rookie Hurst. The game has changed. And we're up by 7. 14 points in the matter of like 20 seconds. Sacked by Mike Daniels. What happened? Was there a penalty? No. Just in Green Bay fashion. Penalty. Taken away. Would have probably ended the drive. Goff throws it away on 4th and 3, and we're headed to the championship game in which you know we're going to choke because that's just the way the Packers play. That's the way we play. Two touchdowns, zero picks. Jared Goff, zero touchdowns, two picks. Aaron Jones is not running the ball well, but I don't know if it's really necessarily him, but more or less the team just isn't good at running the ball because Aaron Jones is a decent overall. He's got great speed, great ability. I mean, he's young. He's a decent overall. Foul. I mean, I guess to be fair, we beat the Rams. That's that's a tough team. But here you can see the overalls are climbing. And we're probably going to face the Browns if we win this game. This would be a huge win. I don't see the Packers making it. I mean, I love to say that Aaron Rodgers can, you know, you got Rodgers. You can, anything can happen. It's starting to get a little old, let's be honest. But it's true. It is true. You never know. You really just don't know. But I'll tell you what. If all it took was one draft to get us to that to that spot, I would be very shocked. Not going to lie. So this is already a pretty damn big success. Getting to the championship game is alone is huge. The defense is doing really well. The offense is kind of the one struggling. And as I say that, the defense scores, lets two touchdowns in. There we go. Three points allowed only. Start of the fourth. I don't even know whose ball this is. It's ours. This is exactly where you want to be if you're truly a Hall of Fame quarterback. And, of course, we score the touchdown as I say that. Thank you, Rogers, for not disappointing me. Packers defense, though, struggling hard. We're back down by three. Third and five, we run the ball. Actually, it was Rogers that ran, so classic Packers team. Third and nine, clutch defense. If you don't score here, I think the game is over. And we're looking pretty good here. Got to get a touchdown. You do. Three minutes left is a lot. Defense, though, four straight stops. And Aaron Rodgers throws an interception. Fourth and three, penalty in the defense. Oh my God, this is, I've got to watch this. I'm not going to play it. I'm going to watch it. Now, if I have to, I will. Like if the, if the guys aren't moving, I'm going to have to run. Like I said, the championship game, we kind of choked this thing. I mean, we just had to run the ball and we just don't. All right, Nick Perry struggling inside. Picked off by Hundley. I will return it because I think you have to there. And let's see what the AI does. What a clutch pick by one of the rookies. Back-to-back -back weeks, we have a rookie making a huge play. And we win the game there. So we are headed to the Super Bowl with my team, the Green Bay Packers. Aaron Rodgers, he had a great game. 
but he did throw two picks, and one of them right on the final drive that would have easily sealed the game. A tight end battle for the ages. Of course, Hooper did outperform Graham, but if I can get a nice 78-yard, one-touchdown game out of Graham next season, all will be forgiven. It really won't be, but it would be really cool. <laughs> we won by four against the Falcons. Not an easy team to beat. Ironically, both the Falcons and Packers kind of in similar situations in real life. I think the Falcons have a little bit more talent, though. Packers' defense is worse than it has ever been at this point in time. Thank God Jair was a good pick, because even with Jair, our secondary looks atrocious. So imagine without him. Like before, it's like, oh, Morgan Burnett, Clinton Dix, that's not bad. Where are they? <laughs> Where are they? They're gone. Uh, so Steelers, 87 overall. Packers, 88 overall. Super Bowl 45 rematch. This is looking like a pretty damn legendary season. Start of the fourth quarter, it's not looking good for the defense. I would assume they kept Le'Veon Bell in this universe. We're down by 10. It's going to have to be a bit of a comeback here. First and 10, sacked by Jeremy Atachu. Can you kick the field goal here? Fourth and three, they go for it. Are they insane? Down by three after the insanity. Defense is really choking here. I'm going to come on the field for this one. I think we have to see this happen. I don't want to be a... Oh, I don't want to be a liability, but it's my fault. No, it's not. Okay. I'll be carry because he sucks anyways. And look at Bell. What is this? This team does not deserve to win a Super Bowl on defense specifically. And Le'Veon Bell is barely, barely stopped. I don't even know who the hell tackled him. If the clock's running here. Watch. Watch what happens. Like, this game sucks! I Why would the clock be running when you need to score a touchdown? Like, why would the ch the clock chew there? And Rodgers takes a sack that probably loses the game. And I'm watching TJ Watt celebrate. We're not even going to get to the line. We're just taking our time. This is the worst game ever of the season I'm not gonna hate on the game anymore we get it we get the point <laughs> funny stuff man funny stuff chewing the clock down with 40 seconds left no what well, we had one timeout I think did we have a timeout did we have a timeout I might have lost the game with a timeout there I'm not kidding you I may have lost the game with a timeout but the point of the matter is Oh, no, I didn't. I had to call a timeout. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I had to call a timeout because the clock was running. Never mind. I remember. I almost forgot because of how dumb that was, but I remember. Doesn't factor in what time in the game is. It's just, you know, you have two, you know, you have clock rundown on, so here you go. Even though the clock never runs down in the two-minute warning. So, of course, we lost Super Bowl 6. It was a hell of a game, in fairness, but apparently we didn't do enough to win. Uh, we are an 87 overall. We do have to re-sign a few names. Mike Daniels is going nowhere. If we have to tag him, we will. Uh, so now, of course, he is going to ask for slightly less. His dev dropped. His overall dropped. Uh, Four-year, $44 million deal is still a little steep. I just don't see it being worth it. Bulaga, not worth it. Mason Crosby, I'll bring him back because, of course, we can't sign free agents, so... It'd be down to, like, the worst free agent kicker. Damn it. So, let, let's just lowball Mike. Let's just lowball him. I'm not going to lowball him that much, but if he takes it, he takes it. Well, unfortunately, he will not be doing that. 11, I mean, it's not that bad. We're paying him, like, a little bit more. I think if we paid him for a four-year deal, it would be, like, 48 mil. Uh, but we're not locked in for those four years, so Mike Daniels might get straight up cucked by us at this point. But he is 31, so... Honestly, his money, you know, his value wouldn't be that high. I think I think in this scenario, we'd actually be overpaying him, technically. I, th I think I really think we would be, so I'm glad we didn't do that. Let's uh, let's go on to the draft. Of course, we're going to have pick 31, which is really bad. I think the guy right there on the screen might have been the guy that made the game-saving tackle on Le'Veon Bell. Take a look at who the names are just for the hell of it. So Leonard Williams, yeah, when you got a guy like Leonard Williams, Yannick Ngakwe... You know, a couple of these really big name guys. I don't think uh, Mike Daniels would have gotten that much money off of it. Uh, so, you got that going for you. So, we're still a 90 overall. Uh, we let Belaga go, so we're going to have to get a new tackle. But, once again, a 77 overall tackle isn't that hard to replace. 
Being a 90 overall with a 73 overall tight end and a 64 overall right tackle gives me a lot of hope that this team is actually pretty damn solid. So we have that going for us. Let's take a look. I mean, the biggest need would be pass rushers still. I wish they would have more like steals. Well, not really steals, but just combine freaks. Like, when's the last time you guys have seen anything in the 4-4 for linebackers? Like, tell me when you've seen it. When this year alone, there was a several, I believe. Which I know it's kind of rare, but it's it's starting to become more common than it used to be. So, I'd like to see the game adapt in that way as well, where it's like, alright. There's uh, kind of some freaks out there now in this, in this world. Well, we got rid of, uh, we, you know, pretty much narrowed down any sort of linebacker, or, well, pass rush uh choices so it's gonna come down to i suppose offensive linemen right tight end as well vertical threat what the hell wait i gotta take it was that a four four five okay it was four four seven but still what his his skills look terrible he's 24 but he's insane what even is that that's a monster I don't even think I'd feel comfortable with him on the team. If I played for the team, I'd be like, I d I'm asking for a trade here. I, I don't feel comfortable. If we end up going to dinner and he's he's done eating food before everyone else is, he may accidentally eat his teammate. Like, that's a very big possibility that I just, I wouldn't be comfortable with if I was on the team. He's actually a monster. He's a thing. He's a freak. And I love it. See, the problem with this tight end is I don't know how high he's going to go. And the best I would be able to do is two first rounds. Like, first this, first next. But that would have to be, like, just about outside the top ten. Otherwise, it just wouldn't be realistic. But, uh, like I said, unless we move Equinemius to tight end, we're going to have to see where this guy goes. If he's outside the top ten, we're going to we're gonna give him a legit shot, I think. Because once you start winning, then your draft is even worse. Some really solid players in this top ten. And there he goes. What a decision there. I would assume Kelsey's kind of reaching that end of his career. God, that guy's so slow. But at the same time, we are desperate, man. Like if he's 76 speed, which I know it's it's a little bit of a reach. 76 speed, decent excel. That's workable, especially if he's good dev. You can see he had uh, not the greatest three-cone or 20-yard shuttle. He's super strong, though. He's a bit of a beast, but I don't know, man. I'm going to trade with the Broncos here. It shouldn't cost us that much. What do the Broncos want? I'm going to give them all this. And then I'm going to give them a fourth this and a fourth next. Which, once again, I think that might still be a little bit of a... I don't have a fourth next, damn it. Fourth this. A fourth... A fifth next. I don't have a fifth this. Damn it. Nothing's going right. Well, that's... I mean... It is what it is. I never guaranteed that this was going to be a realistic style anyways. So, it's like a fantasy... I don't know. The title might be super clickbaity with like... What did I just do? Oh, I sim my pick. That's what I did. All right. Who do we grab, though? Was this the guy? Oh, I had him on the... S Damn it. I might allow myself to trade for that guy. I don't know why my brain lapsed. I completely forgot that we traded for a pick. <laughs> that was so stupid. I must have just took him off, didn't I? We're going to go with Torres. Don't necessarily need him, but he's okay. He's actually faster than the guy we were going to draft, probably. Actually, probably easily faster. So, wide receiver, he's a mid-fourth. I'm going to take him. I think he's worth the value. Yeah, we're not getting rid of Devontae. Um, he has potential, but he is a lot slower than he probably should have been. He ran a 4-4-8. If that tight ends anything over 88 speed and or excel, it makes no sense. And I'm taking it up with the office of really that lineman went he was a late fourth i even did the voice thing because i was just like whoa what do you mean we got cucked so hard I, I thought it was clear clear as day that we were gonna get him that linebacker thing that i'm hoping the guy was bad if he was oh well but if he wasn't i think i'm gonna allow myself to have him which is really stupid i don't know i just ruined it i, I don't know why i looked at the next pick i was like wait 31 and I completely forgot that we were trading for the current pick that was there, which obviously it's kind of what you do. You get a six out of the Browns, which is, in fairness, I think, you know, teams get really desperate near the end of the draft. So to avoid a, some sort of bid, weird bid war for undrafted guys, you would kind of rush to get that pick. So not nearly 
as good of a draft as this uh, as last one. Please tell me that lineman wasn't very good. Where was he? Was this the guy? Like I said, 76 speed, 88 speed. Well, welcome to the team, Gibbs, if I can get you, because that's who I was going to go with. Oh, my God. Why do I ruin everything? That would have been a huge play. Like I said, comes down to your Excel. I also got to find that damn tight end if I can. Well, I can't get the trade done, so it is Stafford it is. The other guy was obviously better. This guy's not the worst, though. He's got potential. He's very speedy. Quick dev isn't the worst to work with, so you never know. We can get this thing done. Uh, we will start... Wow, we actually have a guy named Bibbs, ironically. We will uh, start Nick Perry over Fackrell anyways. Fackrell's... He's pretty old anyway, so it's not like Nick Perry is crazy. Oh, it's star dev. It's uh, not like he's like much worse or anything. So uh, obviously it doesn't really matter there. Torres was a great pick for us, so who knows? Could end up being the future at the position over Mike Daniels. Kind of young, I think. Actually, he might have been 24. Was he 24? 23. It's, eh, it is what it is. But yeah, that really sucks. Is It would have made a kind of rough draft to a pretty damn solid one. Well, here's the team. Obviously, we kind of like to do a three-year uh, rebuild thing. But it depends, I think. If we win the Super Bowl, I think we'll be fine with three years. But if we don't, we might give it another season or two. Uh, Hearst, only 4,800 XP needed. Oh, my Lord. All right, here we go. I mean, I think we did pretty good and damn good in the draft. Hopefully this Stafford guy can be a boss for us and just somehow come out of nowhere, absolutely kill it. If he does, he would kind of become the better pick just because he does have the better base speed. David Bakhtiar, he's 28. He wants a six-year deal worth $69 million. He's definitely worth the money. And I think as a six, as a 99 overall, I think I can allow it. Mike Daniels, however, it's not going to happen, buddy. Aaron Jones... I'm going to give him the contract because I don't think it's him. I think it's just the scheme. I think it's the way the team is. A five-year, $32 million deal isn't bad. Josh Jones, another guy we will keep. Uh, and there goes the battery. Five-year deal achieved. Pretty damn cheap. Uh, we have a lot of money, so I think I'm going to give the backup job to Jamal for the future as well. Be a rare sighting, but obviously the main reason why it's allowed to happen here is because he is a... Uh, he is asking for a lot less than he would in real life. You know, any decent player of any caliber is going for more than that. You know, Aaron Jones didn't really perf perform too well, but I think he'd be getting an extra 10, 20 mil. Eh, maybe. It's a real tough to sit, you know, position to grade. All right, heads of the playoffs, see what we can do. Please tell me we're in it. We are 9-7. and seven. It, Once again, it comes down to the rest of the division kind of sucking because 9-7 and seven isn't great. Rodgers and company just isn't performing on offense. It really... The offense, even though it's getting better, just isn't doing well. Hull, what's his dev? 10 touchdowns? Man, I thought maybe 10 touchdowns would have been enough to get him to superstar. I'm not saying this is the final season, but this season's kind of looking to where, like, it could be the last one where we actually have a, a feasible team. And Stafford had one and a half sacks as a starter. I just think Sim doesn't work very well in this game. It just doesn't make any sense, like... How can a starter only have one and a half sacks out the season? Like, just based on covered sacks alone, starters are going to hit anywhere from, like, three to five minimum. Stafford went up two overalls on the season, which isn't terrible. Carey's a decent overall now. Uh, Josh Jackson and company looking good. Offensive line looking okay. I don't really see where the team's going wrong. Scheme fit is kind of falling apart here a little bit. Steelers having to go through the wild card round as usual. Our only home game, more than likely. It's tied up at 7 all this. I mean, we should be able to win by at least two scores here. But clearly, that's not the case, is it? We're struggling on offense, and we very well might lose here. Okay, okay, slow down, slow down. That's what she said. Uh, Aaron Rodgers throws it away. That's going to be a punt. And this is going to be a score, huh? Touchdown. Three minutes left. Clock is draining. We score a touchdown. This might go to overtime. It thankfully does. They get the ball first. Defense is going to let them walk all over them. Maybe not. Field goal. A turnover loses the game. Third and three coming on in. There you go. Whoever's behind the algorithm for, like, Sims definitely is a Tom Brady fan and hates Rodgers. The Packers' offense is so bad in Madden. It's unbelievable. I know we weren't great in real life, but... Better than the way the game represents us. And there we go. We win the su uh, Super Bowl. That's not a Super Bowl. Win the playoffs. Rodgers played pretty damn well. It's just... 
Team sucks. 73% passer, uh, passing completion percentage, which is, once again, a, a kind of another one of those all times. I mean, four touchdowns, almost 400 yards, 73% on 47 throws. That's pretty damn high. Maybe not as quite as, you know, the 500-yarder, but that's a really high percentage for 47 throws. Might have been like 50, actually, at the end of it. Here we are, going against the Rams again. Happened before. 90 overall, both teams. Both teams, same overall. Guess who has 14 wins? And the other has kind of almost half of that. All righty, looks like we're going to get the ball first. I think this happened last time we played them, too. So that works out. Broncos moving on all the way down to the championship game. Pretty impressive stuff. Playing in L.A. as we expected. Winning by three. I think we're left to right here. Defense is playing well for both teams. Not really a whole lot budging here. What a first half. It's three to three. We get a seven-point lead for a split second. We get it back. Second half is a bit of a different game, though. Bit of a different beast. Third and seven. God, I, I feel like one of those that's one of those situations where you might have to go for it. And the touchdown there kind of proved that to be true. Third and eleven, huge play to Devontae. Getting on the field nicely. We move the ball one yard and three plays. And we get our field goal blocked. Tavecchio sucks. Third and three. Was that a stop? It was a stop. They're gonna punt the ball. What is the win like? Oh, they went for the field goal. What? And here comes the clock. Is it running? Okay, going to have to call a timeout. So there's a wasted timeout because the game's great. I mean, I believe in the AI to get down the field, but the AI will literally waste every single second of that clock for no reason. Like, can I trust him to even get open there? I don't need to. Oh, Devontae. And the auto juke sucks me. And we get the field goal with two seconds left. We start with the ball. And on third and two, negative three-yard rush. If that isn't the most Packers thing I've ever seen in my life. On third and ten, they get nine. Whew. Barely get it. We're running the ball hard here. And we get sacked on third and six. I mean, and they get a touchdown from like 60 yards out. Wow, that really sucks. There's another blown chance. Looking strong in the playoffs and just not getting it done. Running the ball is not our thing Yet we are so adamant on doing it. I don't understand. Could you stop? Could you stop saying, like, this is literally the McCarthy way. Run, run, pass. I should have changed the coach out ages ago. Hopefully he just retires on me and I don't have any choice. Unbelievable stuff here. Well, that really blows. Let's take a look at who wins the Super Bowl. Hopefully it's the Rams and then we at least feel good about it. So they do make it to the Super Bowl at least. Are they going to win it is the question. Texans are a tough sim team. And they do win. So at least it wasn't a wasted spot. Tight end is now officially. In I totally forgot to take a look at that tight end, by the way. He was like, I don't even know. He's probably one of the best tight ends in the league already if he was star. Prawl. Uh, 89 speed, 86 excel. He only had quick dev. So he was good, but eh, I don't know. He probably wasn't worth the trade up anyways. So I'm not actually too mad about it. Negotiate. This is another tag for Mike Daniels, probably. How far did he drop? He's an 86 overall. Uh, he wants a three-year. Now he's only, he's like, yeah, now I, I, you know, I'll take a team-friendly deal. Why not? Why not? You know, I want to win a Super Bowl. I want to help the team. Like, no, you don't. Once again, it's kind of stupid because we're paying him over half the salary in one season. But I think we'll let him go after this season anyways. So it's a 50-50 shot. Uh, how the hell is Jalen Mills on this team? Who, who the, how is Austin Johnson here? I don't know. I guess they, I must have drafted him, or drafted him, signed him. Tony Brown's been on the team for a while. I'm just going to let him stay on the team. Why not? Hasn't really developed well at all, but it is what it is. We need a backup. I was really expecting Rodgers to retire on us. 37 years of age. Devontae Adams. Okay. Tight end is obviously the biggest need. We're in night. We're not a 95 overall team. There's not a chance in hell. Tell me this is a 95. Uh, to be fair, there are some really good players on this team. Like, the DBs are insane. The inside linebackers are insane. The defensive line is pretty damn good. Outside linebackers are rough. Tight ends, terrible. Everything else is really good and up to par for, for standards around the league, I would say. Just taking a look at the players. Don't, you know, calm yourself. We're not going to grab any. 
Don't need to worry about that. I might as well wait to upgrade just in case we do get a really good tight end. Maybe I'll want to do tight end boosts because that could be one of our biggest reasons why we're struggling. I forgot to put uh, Aquanimius there. It's not too late, assuming I didn't forget to re-sign him. Because as it stands, this is the worst tight end class I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, they need to really update the tight end. I remember they used to make them too good. And now they're like, nah, let's make them terrible. Let's just make it no chance at all that you'd want to use the guys. We obviously still need a pass rusher. The guy we got, he was literally useless. But most importantly, we probably need to replace Nick Perry as well. Kirby Lyon. Nope. This guy has potential. I like him in the late third. I think that's a good decision that we can make if we do get him, obviously. Like Martinez is probably nearing the end of his contract, but like I said, I think uh, we'll probably be on our almost last season here. We'd be very close anyways. Not a whole lot here, so I could see our, us trading up our first and second round picks to move up just enough to grab that guard. But the thing is, like I said, we only really need one. So we're in desperate need of a tight end. Equinemius said he would take one for the team. He gained a nice 25 pounds in the offseason. It affected his speed a little bit. He dropped about two speed, three excel. But he's willing to play tight end for us. Honestly, I don't know what the hell we're going to pick here. We might just trade down. I know this could be the final season, debatably. But if there's no one there to take, I'm not going to just blindly take someone for no reason. Mid-third. So, I mean, I'm going to trade down for a next year pick if I can. I don't think we really need him, but I think this is a good pick to, uh, to work the future of the team. Super strong. Dev is a little worse than I thought it would be, but he's still a good player. However, now, I don't think we can get that pass rusher, but... Where are the... So where's that left tackle, actually? I don't know what the hell we're doing here. So we trade him a third this, a fourth this, and Kyler Fackrell for pick 65, which, of course, ironically, will be used on a pass rusher. Put the final nail in the coffin on that that rough linebacker core, hopefully. And I don't think that's going to do it. I don't think it's going to do it. Why? Why? The guy's mid-fifth. If the lineman goes in the 29th pick, I'm done. Okay, Ellsworth is there. I'm really shocked. I thought he was going to be gone. 78 overall. We knew he'd be great. This guy, I was guaranteeing was going to be good. The guy we drafted, eh, I didn't know. But I definitely did think he was going to be at least quick 75, 76, which would have been enough, obviously, to replace the aging fellas. View contract details. Good old draft recap. Not super great, that Weber fella. It's always Weber. The name Weber is coming up too much. So the left guard we were going to go with, Houston Hogden. Hogden obviously would have totally been worth the trade up if we would have went for him. Didn't do it though. Just didn't do it. Uh, the safety looks pretty good. Darian Hasty. It's pretty good. How was the pass rusher? This was the guy we would have taken if we obviously had any sort of chance to get up there. We didn't. Not really much else, honestly. Aaron Rodgers went down a little bit. I might have to sign a couple of guys like we said before. There's really no backup. Fullback or running back on this team. Receivers is insane. What's uh, Devontae? He's 28 now. It's not that bad. Uh, these linebackers are rough, though. We're going to put Weber at right out anyways. Might as well. Definitely going to be one of our biggest re-signing years so far, I would assume. Maybe Jair. I don't even know. And ironically, first face I see is my boy Jair. Deserves more than a five-year deal. Hell, I'm going to give him a seven-year deal. What's the point? What's the point not to? This offer is perfect. It really is. He's he's not wrong. Devontae, I love Devontae way too much not to, even though he's going to be 32. Got to reward my favorite guy. My favorite guy, Josh Jackson, please become this in real life. For the love of Jesus, just do it. Might take a look at his zone and whatnot. Maybe compare him to the other fella. Marquez Valdez, kind of sucks. He started off as, what, 23? Still pretty damn young, pretty damn beast. I mean, we're signing the whole damn team. J.K. Scott's a beastly overall. I'm just going to give him a seven-year deal. He's going to be the punter for the rest of our lives. <laughs> best best of luck, other teams. Um, Equinemius, super fortunate in here. He would have definitely not been re-signed if he didn't move to tight end. But we're desperate, so he will get signed. We're going to let Geronimo go. Nick Perry goes. I like his speed, but that's about it. Uh, Jamon Moore, probably not... Yeah, not a whole lot of guys are going to get re-signed here, but we re-signed the big names. Mike Daniels getting cucked again. Probably does get let go after uh, after all now. All right, here we are. Head to the playoffs. 
at midseason. We were looking pretty good. Can't lie. Could easily turn around and lose every game, though. Which we didn't. Okay, so we win. We finally earned a playoff spot. Like, legit earned. We uh, we were 11-5. and five, Finished out a little bit weaker than we started, I think. Kinda. MVP for Zeke. Aaron Rodgers finally getting to the numbers that I've been waiting for. Aaron Jones. Is that a star dev? It's still quick. It's kind of sucky. Receiving Devontae. That's a star dev. Good time to re-sign him. Nice stuff. Where was Equinemius? Ten touchdowns. Is that a star dev? How is that a dev drop? Like, EA thinks that tight ends just constantly, like every average tight end in the league constantly hits uh, 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns. It's not very common that that happens, okay? Like, okay, let's uh, let's chill out. A sack total is just absolutely terrible. Stafford did better than normal. It's 5.5. Uh, uh, and then the other guy we got, one sack. One sack. Ugh, Santo is a new kicker. Terrible. J.K. Scott loving it. Let's uh, sim a week. See we play. See what our roster looks like. That pass rush, man. Just like the Packers in real life. Huge issue. Huge issue. Did we, like, regress or something? What happened? How are we uh, lower overall than we started? After the upgrades, though, we do go back to up to a 95. So... Looking pretty good. Backups, I really probably should have gotten some more of, but eh, I'm not worried about it. Defensively, Stafford, he's a 78 overall. Weber, 76. Not terrible. Not terrible. Um, Carey's pretty good. Clark, obviously, he's a god. Torres is going to replace Daniels after the season. I mean, this is looking like a pretty damn good team. And, you know, we got Beeler as a backup once Rodgers retires. I think this draft-only uh, rebuild has gone very well. The thing is, can we cap this thing off with a Super Bowl win? That would be almost the perfect rebuild. And right after that, I just fire McCarthy, which is ourselves in this scenario. So it's it's kind of a rough one, but for the greater good, you know? I like seeing this, you know? I just like to know that I'm playing... Wow, they try to kick a 68-yarder with Graham Gano. If that isn't, like, the big moment we needed to try and win this game, why would they do that? Just handing us field position. On 4th and 13, they go for another long field goal. Handing us good field position again. And then, of course, the offense choking away the game again. I think you actually do have to kick a field goal here. Yeah, you kind of have to. Not super high percentage to get that tie, but it's higher than sucking. I, guess. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Passing down the field, okay. And then once again with these penalties, I don't know what the hell is wrong with this game. Did I let you guys know that I hate this playbook, by the way? Turned the ball over four times this game. Interesting. Lots of wide receivers on the field here. Allison, not getting a contract, but he's getting the thumbs up from me here. Boom. I don't even know. Third and eight, we get sacked. So you need to get 50. 15 yards. That doesn't, you know, it's really tough when you have a terrible play. Back of the end zone. He, what is he doing? I don't even know what to tell you. It just happened. Well, the team did clutch it, in fairness. I don't think you really have to go for the return here. I think you have to try to block this. Okay, then. I, I really guess I was right, wasn't I? What in the world is that win? We can get down the field and spike it if we can get at least one throw that gets us close. Devontae doesn't even come close to holding on to that, and the ball goes all the way down the field. Wish it would have went the right to the left there. Let's see if we can catch... Who is this, Devontae? Okay, Devontae is pretty open. I like that. The play action's huge. I'm going to streak Marquez. Oh my god, another Rodgers type throw. What a dime. Equinemius and Adams on one side. The question is, are we going to have enough time to throw this thing? What are they doing? Baiting me is what they're doing. I probably should have taken Devontae on the outside. The thing is, he readjusted to it, and St. Brown was technically the more open guy, but he wasn't as qualified as Devontae, so I should have taken a look at 66.6. Sim is broken. Carry with two sacks looking good. I mean, we drafted one hell of a team. Obviously, the Niners aren't going to go on and win the Super Bowl. But it's fun to see that they were good enough to beat us, I guess. Advancing to the Super Bowl, who is it? 
the Texans versus the Cowboys. The Texan matchup, I guess, is what I would say. 35-16. to 16. Rodgers retires, so we drafted Beeler in almost the perfect time. Rodgers retires in a pretty damn disappointing way. Two, uh, two picks. And most importantly, a couple of sacks. There was a lot of sacks there, and I, I'd like to think that it wasn't all just the offensive line because we have a pretty decent line. So he might have taken a couple unnecessary ones, which obviously put us in a really tough spot a couple of times. So either way, I think this was a success. Made it to a pretty damn good number of playoff games. A couple of important ones as well. I don't think we made the Super Bowl in any of them. No, no, we did. We beat the, we we lost to the Steelers by six in the Super Bowl. So this was a fun one. Uh, this was a great one. So thank you, Josh Winkle, and anyone else that may have uh, suggested the draft only rebuild. Sorry if you know what your definition was was no trades at all. But at the end of the day, it wasn't that impactful. So I'm not I'm not you know there's really no regrets here. Only regret is maybe I could have done. Uh, two rookie, uh, real life rookie classes, two real life draft classes that maybe would have been a little more fun. But thanks for watching. If you have any more suggestions, guys, for rebuild challenges like this, or ladies, let's be honest, there's there's probably maybe one of you that maybe accidentally clicked on this. I don't know. Maybe you somehow got over here. Maybe definitely didn't get to this part of the video. Um, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I think we did an injury roster, like a, a zero injury rebuild. I can't remember exactly how the hell that turned out, but it, the view, view count definitely didn't turn out well. Uh, I probably already addressed this, especially in the comment section, but what was it? Thursday's videos? For some reason, the ads doubled, so I'm sorry. I ain't that thirsty. I know I've added a couple more ads here and there, but I ain't that thirsty. There was like 10 ads in there, and I didn't notice until you guys commented. I, ch I fixed it, though. Uh, it, it For some reason, it doubled when I suggested placements, uh, so I don't know. Uh, but... Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe follow me on Twitter, Drop Your Care. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video if you liked it. I appreciate everything you guys do. Just watching the video is good enough for me. But if you want to help, it's just, hey, I appreciate it. But until next video, see ya.